All right, welcome into another edition here of the FanDuel. Hurry up, I'm Joe Ranieri, and we are joined by Davis Maddock of Daily Roto. Today, it's all about the NFL draft, still pushing ahead. Next month, we're looking forward to it, as I'm sure many of you are. So we got to take a look at the board here and see if we can't put some value associated with some of these players. And Davis will start at the top uh, with a player that many people think, outside of the quarterback position, is the best player on the board, and that being Chase Young of Ohio State. What are your thoughts on Chase Young this year? So Chase Young is going to go second overall in this draft, and you could really put this bet at any price. You could put it at minus 10,000, and you probably still get some people who are willing to bet it because Chase Young is just going to go second. Washington isn't going to take Tua. Washington is not going to trade this pick away. They, you know, they traded a fifth round pick for Kyle Allen. They took Dwayne Haskins in the first round last year. They are selecting Chase Young with this second overall pick in the NFL draft. So, you know, I was honestly surprised to see this at minus 330 on the FanDuel Sportsbook. I thought it would be even deeper than that. All right, well, let's go to another player here that I don't know, feels like I've played in college for 19 years, that being Jalen Hurts. Uh, A lot of people say, listen, you can't be a quarterback in the NFL, but he impressed at the combine. Did he impress you enough to think he's going to go off the board there early in this draft? Definitely. I think that uh, I think that he is such an incredibly strong option. And I think that he is being underrated by people who, you know, maybe maybe they are looking at things and they saw that Jalen Hurts had to transfer colleges and maybe they're seeing how, you know, they, he lost when he was at Oklahoma in the college football playoff. But we're talking about a guy who's not even 22 yet. And we're talking about the NFL that is, you know, more and more favorable for mobile quarterbacks pretty much every single year. Jalen Hurts under the 75th pick. Uh, I mean, I would probably take the under on this at the 60th overall pick. So at 75, I think we are getting loads of value. This is probably my favorite bet of any of these NFL draft bets that we're going to look at. And of course, uh, uh, the running back position, always an interesting position in the draft. And some feel that the first running back to go off the board will be Jonathan Taylor of Wisconsin. Uh, Are you sold on Jonathan Taylor as the first running back off the board this year? I am definitely sold on Jonathan Taylor as the first running back drafted. You can get him at the FanDuel Sportsbook at plus money. You can get him at plus 155, whereas DeAndre Swift is actually favored to be the first running back off the board. But Taylor is just a, he's just a better prospect than DeAndre Swift is. He was better at running, just about as good at catching the ball, didn't suffer any injuries when he was in college. So, you know, I think it's pretty much a no-brainer that Jonathan Taylor is going to go ahead of DeAndre Swift. And uh, what what's funny is that the props of the over-under of where the guys are going to be drafted on the FanDuel Sportsbook are only a few picks apart. So I think that uh, this is a little bit of a discrepancy in the odds that makes it even more favorable to draft Taylor as the first running back overall. Taking a look on the defensive side, secondary, always a uh, always a need for teams. And one of the hardest hitting safeties in the draft this year, Grant Delpit out of the Champion LSU Tigers, maybe the first safety off the board. Your thoughts? Yeah, I think that there is probably a a pretty good chance that he is the first safety off the board. One of the things that I like to do with NFL draft betting is, you know, obviously look at a ton of mock drafts. And what you'll see with Grant Delpit and the guy who's favored to be the first safety off the board, Xavier McKinney, uh, neither of them are like routinely going inside the top 10 in these mock drafts, even kind of outside the top 15. And you'll often see the order that they go switched in these mock drafts, which I always think is, you know, indicative that if we're looking at two options, we want to take the guy that we are getting plus money with, and we are getting Grant Delpit at plus money, a really good price on FanDuel. I really like this wager, Grant Delpit, first safety off the board. Wide receiver also always a position of interest, the skill position, and a lot of feel this is one of the deepest wide uh, wide receiver position drafts that we've had in a long time. A kid out of Oklahoma named the Lamb seems to be at everyone's top of their draft board. How about yours, Davis? Yeah, I think that CeeDee Lamb is going to be a better NFL player than Jerry Judy. And I think that uh, the fact that um, 
the the colleges that they went to definitely do have something with to do with their draft profile. So, you know, we know we have a lot of historically great wide receivers from Alabama. We have a lot of guys who have kind of flamed out in the NFL from Oklahoma. But the recent success for Marquise Brown, Mark Andrews, I think those things are going to be pretty helpful. And Lamb just had a much better combine than Judy did. Judy pretty much disappointed with every drill that he did, whereas Lamb excelled uh, at his physical testing. So I think we have to feel pretty good about CeeDee Lamb going ahead of Jerry Judy in the NFL draft and things are priced the other way around where Judy is currently favored to go ahead of Lamb. All right, and finally, a uh, a player that, man, I, I don't know how anybody's going to draft him without being able to get a doctor in front of him, but Tua is, uh, of course, uh, right up there with many people thinking outside of Joe Burrow, he is a must-have. What about on your draft board, Davis? Is he and could he possibly be maybe the first, if not the second quarterback taken? I think that he is almost for certainly going to be the second quarterback taken. And I think that you can get good odds on that on the FanDuel Sportsbook. But the even more interesting bet for me is just Tua as the number three overall pick. Uh, you can get him there at minus 110. Basically, if you kind of take the if you kind of take the path that uh, two is okay, two is healthy. You know, some team's not going to get some horrible medical on him. I think he's pretty much a lock to go third overall. If he doesn't go third overall to Miami, I think it seems likely that some team would trade in to get him there. And, uh, you know, as a result, I, I think that this is, again, at minus 110, another really solid bet. And, of course, uh, a lot of that is going to depend on uh, the physical and how he is progressing. But no doubt there is going to be jockeying for position when it comes to the draft for Tua's services. And the draft is just around the corner, and we're excited for it, certainly at FanDuel. And on behalf of Davis Maddock, I'm Joe Ranieri. This has been another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up. Stay safe and enjoy your day.